Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. Let's take a look at this object. I'll just put it in side view and then in top view. It looks like it is an extrusion, but if we look carefully, in fact, there is a draft angle here. Of course, we can model this with the complex shapes and other methods, but uh, we can use the draft angle for the extrusion. In this case, there is no draft angle here, but here there is an obvious one. So what can we do in this case? I check it's aligned properly. So I'll, I can go create a 2D sketch. And just in this case, I don't need to do any stacked sections, but I only need to take one section. And then I can press OK. Here I can quickly hold shift and select the top line and the side line. As you see, it creates two lines. I can probably extend them for the future when I want to trim with, the, with another sketch. And I can right click and create a tangent arc just by picking the two endpoints. I can move and adjust the quality of my section like this one. So we have this extruded surface and I will compare. As you see now it's 0.1, you see the quality and the distance is quite high. What to do in this case is I can just go to the extruded surface, right click and say edit. We have an um, option dialog here which uh, you have the two offsets which you can modify manually or when you drag you can get update here but in this case I can play with the draft angle in this case if I put 2 it immediately changes the draft angle I'll put it in the side view so we can see better what's going on or I can put it to 5 it immediately applies the draft and also I can change and toggle the orientation of the draft angle. In this case I will make 2.5 and press OK. The shape is flipped so you can always right click and they flip. So now if I compare this with my model as you see I got much better approximation of the surface. Of course this is a valid surface then you can trim it with other primitives and reconstruct the final shape. Thank you for watching.